Hello, my friends. This is Cody Vrosh, and I hope the day finds you well. I created this piece mostly to play around with gold ink and a brush and dip pen. I'll be using Kuretake Gold Mic Ink. It has a lovely shimmer to it, and I really like it so far. For this piece, I also used Micron Technical Pens, Sakura Brush Pen, and Holbein Watercolors, all on Fabriano Hot Press Watercolor Paper. The nib I will use is a Brow Steno Nib, also known as the Blue Pumpkin. I've been thinking a lot about growth lately, and by extension evolution, both on a grand scale and individually on a more personal level. I often try to look at my own story from a distance. In books or shows, the evolution of a character becomes obvious, and it's often the whole point, but for us it's much more subtle. Most people would say they've changed a lot in the last 10 years, but think of themselves as a near final version. In truth, we are constantly adapting, changing, and shifting being influenced and influencing those around us. Where are you on the timeline of your character's evolution? Oops, a drop of water got away from me there. We shouldn't be afraid to make some mistakes though. Trial, error, failure, and survival are all part of the process after all. One of the things I love about art is that constant reminder. Perfection is a myth. All things and all people are works in progress. I've recently watched some time-lapse videos of plants moving throughout the day. They're quite slow, but very active. They'll shift and blossom to catch sunlight or warmth, ultimately growing towards those things that nourish them. I personally often gravitate towards some darker things, sadder songs and violent stories, and I wonder if a plant that grows towards darkness would one day be trapped in it. But of course we are plants. We grow spiritually through a diverse range of influence. To a soundtrack of somber singers or pounding drums, we dig deep into the soil of our souls to understand our depths. The deeper the roots, the stronger the tree. And who's to say my succulents wouldn't enjoy a good monster movie?
Here in my studio, I'm fairly isolated. I think a lot of us are these days. It's easy to develop habits that seem strange. But then I think about the non-judgmental nature of evolution. The creatures of this world developed in all sorts of seemingly odd ways, refining themselves to survive best in a given environment. Turkeys were once velociraptors, after all. That hardly seems like an upgrade, but turkeys have survived and I haven't seen any velociraptors in weeks. While once very social, despite social anxiety, I am now more reclusive, finding joy in building things my, by myself where I once found joy in large social gatherings. If I wanted to party every day, I would be miserable being so secluded. And back then, my creativity was very distracted and unfocused, and that did create a lot of unhappiness for me, but I have changed a lot, or more precisely, I have evolved in pursuit of joy, and I am curious where that pursuit will take me next. I initially used a brush with the gold mica ink and forming the branches I wanted to be able to change direction quickly. Dip pens I find are more precise but lack the freedom of movement of a brush. I'll come in soon with a dip pen to do the titular golden leaves. The gold mica is a very wet ink and I love the flexibility of the blue pumpkin but in the future I might try a stiffer nib to accommodate the slipperiness of the ink. Did you know some hummingbirds have evolved to only feed from one type of flower? And those flowers in turn have developed to only feed and to have their pollen spread by that one type of hummingbird. They evolved together to fit perfectly into one another's niche. Somewhere in there is a metaphor for love, but I simply enjoy the idea that organisms with such specific adaptations can survive so fruitfully. Whether you're highly adaptable or obscure or niche, there is a place for you. The only constant is change, as Heraclitus said. It's probably my favorite quote and bit of philosophy. It's a reminder that the world is ever in flux. This moment is completely unique, and there will never be another like it. During dark times, we can know that they are not permanent, and things will change. When times are good, it suggests that we should savor those perfect moments, taking all the beauty and warmth that we can, for, like all things, it is inevitably fleeting. 
And while that sounds somber, change is just an opportunity to find more new and different moments of joy. Everything changes. We all must grow. In a million years, the human race won't be recognizably human anymore. Tomorrow, we will wake up different. And no matter how imperceptible the growth, or subtle the evolution, or slight the change, you will be new. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried something a little different. Please feel free to leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. Independent creators depend on that type of engagement and it's much appreciated. You can follow and friend me as Cody Brosh on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.